Hey, positive kings and queens. This is your host, Monique. Um, guys, make sure you hit a like and subscribe and the notification so you'll know when I'm on. You guys, this reading is definitely for, um, we're doing, um, swords energy, which is, um, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We just finished doing the, um, Sagittarius. So we're going to do Libra. All right. Universe, give us some information on a Libra. Libra. energy a lot of energy ooh. Ooh, ooh. a lot of energy I I'm turning them cards the way they come out okay okay Libra energy and of course swords is the king of swords is in his energy I y'all we can't make this shit up. This is why I tell people about tarot. You can't make this shit up. This, this is the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles, we're going to go down this line as I explain to you guys what is going on out here. And then at the end, I will give you a, a message so that way you can carry, you know, on from there. Once you get the message, you'll know what to do from there. But in the meantime, I'm just going to break these cards down and definition way. So that way you guys could get a clear understanding of what's going on. When you see the two of pentacles and a reversal, it's no clear answer anyway. And the upright is no clear answer. Some type of slow movement, some type of balance and growth. Through change. Someone needs to go through some type of growth, some type of change. Um, wealth that will likely require some sort of juggling act and will bring with both ups and downs. The um, workload will be heavy. So it's like, okay, this person no longer want to juggle. They no longer want to deal with the workload they no longer want to balance things out they're not showing no movement no nothing this king of swords is cutting things out that don't serve him any purpose this king of swords is um financially straight this king of swords is a type of person that's not with none of the drama the king of swords is someone certitude Someone professional, someone that um see that's a decision maker. Um, this person have high intellect, and this person is a leader that represent big decisions to come. And this person controls and set boundaries. You know, this person have rules and and follow rules. So the, we know this king is in the upright. So now we see. This king is not out celebrating. This king is not going, um, having fun. This king is in the cup energy. Because when you see the three of cup, the three of cup represent a yes and an upright. But in the reverse, it's like a no. He's not, uh, he's not, he's not in love. This person is not at joy. This person is not happy. This person don't want to go to no celebration. This person don't want to cheer nobody on. They don't want to uh, associate with their family, their friends, relationship. Right now, this person is in that no energy. like, Or they could have been bringing an a, a, a end to a third party situation. This king, he's bringing an end to a third party situation. Um, the temperance is representing balance. This um. Um, it's a Sagittarius energy. This person want to bring balance. This person want to um, try to understand the situation and try to understand what's going on. Um, 
far as with this third party situation because when you brought the end to the third party situation now you're trying to balance your life out you're trying to balance things out uh, you stop working on your pinnacles at one time you was working on your pinnacles you put a pause a pause on working on your pinnacles because the the eight of pinnacles is in a reversal and when you see the eight of pinnacles in a reversal it's like you're not working on on yourself you're not working on your project um, the secrets and the lines already had came out. The uh, moon card in the reversal. The upright is like you you have you you got to go within. You you're not intuitive. You're not catching on. But in the reversal, you caught on. Um, you listen to your um, inner self. You listen to either tarot. You listen to somebody that told you what was going on about these lines and secrets. Now you in the empress energy. The empress energy is. Let me know you looking for an empress or you want to get with the empress. The empress is someone who give birth ideas, who create projects, um, start businesses. Either this empress put an end to something or either you put an end to something. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Hermit. You went into the hermit mode. You meditated. You thought about it. You constipated on it. This King of Cups in a negative. This someone that's coming at this King of Swords in a negative energy. This person is negative. This person is toxic. You guys had an argument, a disagreement. Either this person um, disagree with your relationship or the third party situation that you was in. Or uh, either you could have been sleeping with this King lover or someone this King was interested in. The justice card, the justice card letting me know that, you know, you're seeking justice. You're asking the universe, you know, to bring justice upon this person. Um, you're asking the universe, you know, this is karma. You're asking this person, you know, to receive karma for what they did. They fear this. They um, unbalance in different affairs in your life. This person was all buttoning your life, your business. You know, this could have been a brother. Or somebody you know, you know, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody is buttoning your business. Yeah, you got dignity and integrity. So you definitely going to seek the right thing. You're going to do the right thing. This is why the wheel of fortune is in your favor. Because the wheel of fortune and upright let you know, you know, good luck is coming your way. Good fortune is coming your way. Things is going to happen that you didn't expect to happen. You know, when you see that wheel of fortune, it's like a yes. It stands for luck. You know, changes and new directions in your life. Uh, while it also shows up in downs too. So it could be ups and downs, but it's not in a reversal. Overall, this is a positive indicated that you're going to make a change. Change is going to happen. Okay. This is a Libra reading. Let's pull some cards, hood cards, and see what the universe would like for us to know. All right. Universe, give us some clear information on this reading with the air energy. Give us some clear energy messages. We want to know what's going on with this air. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on with the air. I'm going to make this quick. It's not going to be a long reading, you guys. Okay. I just want to make sure you guys get this message. So Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, these messages could uh, relate to you guys. If not, uh, we got one major kind of two major kind of um, three, the Hermit. So we know this is going to happen. You're going to bring an end to something. We know you're in meditation, um, thinking, constipating on what to do. Um, definitely going to make a positive move. This King of Cups is upset, toxic. You want to fight, auger, justice, bringing justice towards this King of Cups. Good fortune in your favor. Let's see. Someone think you have some nice braids? Debt. Aries. A Pisces is out. So we're going to have to do a reading on the Aries and the Pisces. Because we need to find out what's going on with the stories and connect them all. Someone going food shopping. 
Someone had a fight. Somebody is a liar. This person could have big titties. No truck. This person have big titties. They don't have no truck no more. Or either they have a truck or they bought a new car. Call me. Someone wants you to call me. Capricorn energy. Instagram. They be on your Instagram. You're going to find out today. It's Friday. Unpaid bills. This person got unpaid bills. They telling lies. What I told you. A car. So this person. No truck. They got a car now. They telling lies. It could be a Virgo. They telling lies. They have no truck. They have a car now. It could be a Virgo. House. This Virgo have a house. A stability. Stable house. This person have a foundation. They have their own house. Self-love. They always giving themselves some self-love. They fucking. This person is fucking. A Leo. Can't read or write. This person haven't graduated. Um, they probably could have dropped out of high school. No money. This person don't have no money. They living off of government and child support checks. Negative energy. This person have a negative energy. And they always competing. They watching your page. They competing with you. They constantly competing. They constantly watching what you're doing. Constantly watching others to see how they operate on their channel, how what messages are they delivering. Um, you know, this person definitely could be a person that like wearing nice braids. Definitely somebody with big titties. They got their own house. Um, they don't have a truck no more. It's saying the car say no truck, a car. Um, this person could be um um, they say telling lies. This person is a liar. This person is um, fucking somebody. You know? I don't know. That's what the cards is saying. Okay, this is for you, Libra. This energy can apply to the Gemini. I mean, Gemini and the Aquarius. But this reading is for Libra. Okay? Thank you. And make sure you guys hit a like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Show your girls some love. Definitely go check out Tamar Candles at Amazon.com. I'm doing my live reading today at 9. So make sure you guys be around when I come on live today to do the live free reading. And also the second reading is only $5. And I'm quite sure you guys can afford that. So definitely come over and get your free reading. Later. I'm getting ready to go do, um, who reading are we going to do next? I know. Oh, we did it all. The Cancer. The Sagittarius. And we did the Libra. All right. So this was a Libra reading. Okay. Have a great 